If you are new to our channel Petty Box, don't forget to subscribe for baking, cooking, DIYs, weight loss, and a lot more videos. And click on the bell icon and select all so that you don't miss any update from us. Hey everyone, this is Rekha from Petty Box. Today I'm going to be making a very simple, straightforward yet amazingly delicious eggless choco chip cookie that will turn out to be perfect every single time. This is a one bowl recipe and to make them we need pretty basic ingredients. So we need to start by creaming the butter and sugar. Here I have 100 grams of unsalted butter and 45 grams of each powdered sugar and brown sugar. And all these three ingredients decide how your cookies turn out to be. So in terms of flavor and texture, there's no huge difference in using softened butter and melted butter. But the cookies made with melted butter spread a tad more. Using white granulated sugar will make the cookies a lot thinner and crispier. Powdered sugar keeps the cookies soft and tender and the brown sugar makes the cookies chewy. And so we use this combination of sugars. So beat the butter first and then add both the sugar and beat it till it is creamy. To this we have to add one and a half tablespoon of curd and a teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract. You can replace the curd with a tablespoon of milk if you like crispier cookies. Next add 150 grams of flour or maida in two batches and mix it with your hand or a spatula. Do not beat it with a beater or do not knead it as you will end up getting tough cookies. Along with the second batch of flour, add one and a half teaspoon of corn flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda with a pinch of salt and mix it all together. Just before all the flour is mixed in, I am going to add the choco chip and today I am going to be using 50 grams of each big and small dark chocolate chips. You can use a combination of dark, white or milk chocolate as per your preference. So one tip here is to keep the chocolate chips in fridge until mixed. Otherwise, the chocolate will just melt as you mix it in the dough and it will become more like a chocolate dough. Finish it off by bringing it all together using your hands. Now cover it with a cling film and refrigerate it. Ideally, you have to refrigerate this dough overnight, but I know it's hard to wait that long. So refrigerating it for 3-4 to four hours will do the job just fine. I took this dough out of the fridge and kept it out for like 15-20 minutes so that it's easy to work with. Now I'm going to weigh out 40 grams of dough and slightly press them in the middle. And then line them on a baking tray lined with parchment paper, keeping a distance between each cookie as they will spread. Try not to use a black tray because cookies burn easily in them. The best thing about these cookies is that you can freeze this cookie dough for up to 3 months and bake it as and when you want. But I can promise that it would be very hard for you to resist not baking it for that long. So if you want to freeze it, weigh out cookie balls and freeze them in a Tupperware or a tray that you can cover with a cling film and then bake it as and when you want it. I'm just going to top this up with some chopped up chocolate. If you like sweet and salty flavor like I do, you can sprinkle them with some sea salt. These now needs to go in a preheated oven at 180C for just 13 to 15 minutes. Once the cookies are out of the oven, let them cool in the tray itself for 10 to 15 minutes and then transfer them to a cooling rack. These cookies will have a soft center. If you want crispier cookies, bake it for 16 to 17 minutes. There is a reason why classic chocolate chip cookies are perhaps the most popular type of cookie in the world. Crispy on the outside, soft and chewy in the center, these cookies are very hard to resist. I hope you like my video guys. Please share your comments and experience in the comment box below. See you all soon in another video from Petty Box. Till then take care and happy baking. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.